All right, here is a four-wheeler that we're borrowing from my cousin. And put a brand new battery in it. 127.17, that was yesterday. And uh, checked it, we have spark and all that. It just cranks and cranks and cranks and doesn't really start. Um, choke is all the way over here. Doesn't even seem to be really trying to fire. So going on the web, sounds like uh, checking the valve lash is the way to go. Um, involves taking this off, this cap, I think there's one down here. Um, three to five thousandths on the intake. Uh, sorry, two to four thousandths on the intake, three to five thousandths on the exhaust. So I'm gonna strap this thing up to the ceiling, pull that apart, and uh, take a look and see what we're at. All right, so I've got kind of jacked up here, a little more manageable to get at. Um, put it up on the uh, one-ton hoist, so you know it's pretty creaky here, but uh, I think I think it'll hold. So now I'm gonna pull all the covers off and measure and see what we got. All right, what the internet is telling me is that when this mark here is lined up with this mark. It's on top dead center, and I ran this around one more time to make sure we weren't on some off cycle. Um, it feels like this intake one doesn't wiggle at all, and the exhaust one on the back side has got a little bit of wiggle, a little bit of play in it. Uh, one thing I had to do was take out the two screws in the intake um, to get enough room to get this cap off, which looks like this. And it's a 24 millimeter, or if you're like me and don't have any wrenches that are that big to get in that tight spot, um, I use the 15 16 That was uh, plenty tight on there. Um, but I still couldn't get at it without removing, just breaking this loose and lifting this intake up slightly. So I'm gonna try to get uh, the jam nut off here and loosen it up to get a little bit of lash in there. All right, it's gonna be somewhat difficult to see, um, but you loosen up this jam nut here which I believe, come on, focus. Come on. Great. Um, loosen up the top jam nut, and then there's a square stud on the inside. Okay, we're gonna have to focus here. Square stud on top. Um, I don't know what the right tool for the job is on that. I use the channel locks to turn that tiny little square section there. Um, Anyway, I set them both to 5,000s, the intake and the exhaust, with the intake being tight on the 5,000s, and then the exhaust being slightly loose in the 5,000s, knowing that the exhaust is going to get hotter and grow a little more. So I'll put the caps back on, and then uh, we'll see if it starts any better. Also just noticed, I was worried about maybe the intake uh, not sealing, but it looks like there's an O-ring in there, and the surface looks clean, so I'm not worried about putting that back together. Um, I should get a pretty good seal there. I was going to put some Permatex or something on it, but it looks like it's going to be fine. All right, everything's back together. This bottom screw was a little, um, focus. This bottom screw was a little messed up when I started, um, so I just used those tiny little vice grips to tighten that down. Um, you know, it's, uh, all the fasteners, I kind of just got them good and tight. Um, so we'll bring it down. oil a minute or two to get back where it's supposed to be. It's not in neutral, so it's not liking that. I had it in, had it in gear to uh, use it to turn the engine over. Uh, choke back on. Fuel, I believe, is on. It's on reserve, I think, so put it to on. And try it. So it looks like that was probably the issue. I think the intake valve was being held open a little bit. Well, I guess I should probably take the tool out. Oh, 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 maybe it's open too soon. All right, 
Chokes off. And like I said, maybe the uh, the intake was too far open. They were saying 170 uh, PSI, 170 uh, for the compression. I never checked it. Um, seems to be running good now. So uh, yeah, if you got a problem with your Badger, Yamaha Badger 80cc, uh, only starting when you pull it or try to push start it, uh, check your uh, intake valve. It's probably tight.